And welcome back into High School Sports Extra. West De Pere made three straight trips to state back in 2009, 10, and 11, resulting in a silver football and back-to-back -back gold trophies. The undefeated Phantoms were seeking a return to glory Friday morning. Josh Blount. West colliding with a Catholic Memorial team playing at Camp Randall for the fifth time in eight years. The Phantoms didn't throw a single pass in the semifinals, but on the second play of the game, Josh Blount drops it into Sam Momarts for the huge 53-yard gain. That sets up Blount for the fourth and goal rugby scrum and a one-yard touchdown, 7-0 West to Pier. The Crusaders turned it over three times in the first half, including right here. Luke Fox completes to Rory Fox, but Isaiah Burdett forces the fumble. Alex Spitzer recovers covers for the Phantoms. Then on the first play of the second, Cody Cavill carries it in from one yard out, and it's a dream start for West to Pier up 14 zip. And just before the half, it's Blount lofting it up to John Ettinger for a 25-yard pickup that set up a field goal, and the Phantoms led 17 zip at the break. Then to start the third, Ben Pollock jumps that route for the Phantoms pick, and he returns it 40 yards before finally being brought down. That sets up Cavill, two-yard touchdown, and it's a 24-0 West Pier lead. So it's over, right? Wrong. Crusaders score twice in the third, then in the fourth after a West fumble. Tate Kopulos takes it in for the easy 15-yard touchdown, and the tide had turned. Game tied at 24. Then it's the quarterback, Fox, faking the hand up and keeping it himself, fooling everyone in the process, and he rumbles in for the go-ahead 70-yard score. Catholic Memorial rallies back with 37 unanswered points, and West Pier drops a heartbreaker 37-24. Ran into a buzzsaw. Uh, we couldn't get stops on defense. Plays that had been working in the first half against a similar defense uh, weren't working in the second half. Uh, we were trying to find things offensively that that you know where we could move the football, and uh, we just weren't able to come up with answers. No, I've never been a part of anything like this. Uh, just super disappointed. I feel horrible for our kids. Uh, we were close, uh, just not close enough. There'll be better days in their life, and there'll be a lot of things that they take with this, but uh, I'm sure right now that's, it's a, a, a pretty sad locker room. Well, Bob Hyland began coaching St. Mary Springs back in 1971. After two years, his record, 1-15-2. In his 48th season, leading the Ledgers, Hyland's record now stands at 465-105-2. That was heading into the Division 5 championship game Thursday afternoon. State Powers, Springs, and Stratford battled for the gold with the winner, becoming the first program to win eight WIAA state championships. Tigers set the tone on their first drive with nine straight runs, ending with this one-yard TD plunge by Cade Erke. Stratford strikes first, 7-0. Then later in the first, Mitchell Wachter gets his punt blocked, and the Tigers take over on the Ledger's 42. On third and eight, Max Schwabe drops back and dials up the perfect pass to Vaughn Brait, who scores the 40-yard touchdown. Nightmare start for Springs, trailing 14-zip, heading into the second quarter. Ledgers needed a spark, and they got it from junior running back Marcus Orlandoni. He bounces off a tackle and is brought down after picking up 49 yards. Two plays later, it's number 35 again. On the delayed handoff, he rumbles in for the 21-yard score. St. Mary Springs cuts the deficit in half, 14-7 at the half. Then in the third, Stephen Hefner with the hard hit, and the ball comes out. Wachter is able to scoop it up for Springs. And on the next play, it's Wachter to Cade Christensen on the 29-yard touchdown connection. And just like that, we have a tie ball game. At the end of the quarter, the Tigers retake the lead on a 20-yard field goal. So it's 2017 Stratford heading to the fourth. Same score with just over two minutes left in regulation. And it's Orlandoni bouncing it outside and stretching past the goal line for the go-ahead score. And St. Mary Springs wins back-to-back -back state titles. Final score 2017. Here's Eric Boynton with more from Madison. The St. Mary Springs Ledgers have had their fair share of adversity in the postseason, including being down 14 points in the state title game. But nothing compares to losing a teammate. And that's exactly what happened back in October when Trent Scheffner died in a hunting accident. And ever since, the Ledgers have been playing in his memory. We fall with a lot of adversity with these guys. I mean, Trent's gone, but, you know, it's just motivation for us. We did what we could, and we did what we knew how to, how to do it, and, you know, we came out on top again. We knew that we were in this game the whole time, so we just had to follow the game plan that our coaches set up for us, and that's what we did, and we came out on top. 
everything that we did from that tragedy on was all for Trent. So doing this for Trent, you know, means a lot for us. Finish. Just finish. So it's hard. It, it, it's been hard. Um, I think, you know, it is done. I guess that's all I can say. Well, it's just awesome that we finish it off for Trent, just like we, we, we wanted to, you know, week one of playoffs. This didn't tear us down that, that, you know, Trent was gone. It kind of built us up as a team. You could find plenty of memorials to Trent on the sidelines, on their shoes, on their helmets. But there is one that will last forever at St. Mary Springs. It's the gold ball they're bringing home from Madison. Reporting for High School Sports Extra at Camp Randall Stadium, I'm Eric Poynton. All right, thank you, Eric. A great story indeed. Well, still ahead, it's the Local 5 Top 5 Plays and the Team of the Week. But first, one more area team was going for the gold in Madison. Could Iola Scandinavia cap off a perfect season with a win in the state final? That's next.